good day guys it's made money so some of you some of you are bloody civilians you keep telling me what you do on board what is it you do on board you just spend your time on social media watching movies all day this video is for you and also for those of you who say are you driving the sheep first of all we don't drive the sheep and secondly i don't drive the sheep all the time what do you mean hello am i a taxi driver this video is for you i'm going to be sharing with you what i do so keep watching don't skip this video watch to the end it wasn't easy making it let's go so on board there are two major departments the there Cool, right? Then there's the other department that nobody likes. But I have to show you, so let's go. The engine room. And you can see warnings everywhere. Because nobody likes it. Who wants to enter there? Freaking noisy place. Noisy place. They are trying to copy, you know, bridge. So you'll have stayed in the hot place now. So, enough with the boring engine department. Let's go. So, those are the two major departments on board the vessel. The deck department and the engine department. Let me give you a personal structure of the vessel. So, here you have... This is basically all the personnel on the vessel. You have the deck department, the cool guys. And you have the engine department. Lame guys. But anyway, so... You have the master, he's the boss, he's in charge of, overall in charge. You have the chief officer, the second in command, the head of the deck department, obviously, is the cool guy. And you have the chief engineer, is the head of the engine department. So, and um, in the engine department, you have um, four other officers, besides the chief engineer, you have the second engineer, second engineer, he's also a senior officer. You have the third engineer, the fourth engineer, and the electrical officer, these are all junior officers. And you have engine cadets, engine cadets are like apprentices, and you have fitters and uh, engine ratings consists of the motormen, the wipers and the oilers and now to the deck department you have the deck department here you have the second officer and the third officer two uh, junior officers in the deck department and you have the deck cadets also apprentice to you know the officers and you have the bozeman you have the pump man you have the deck ratings consists of the able seaman and the ordinary seaman and this is the Food department is the galley department, the catering department is a sub department under the deck department, and it consists of the chief cook, the cook, and the messman or the steward. So basically, they prepare the food and also they keep the, the vessel tidy. So, yeah, this is the structure of the vessel. Now, where am I? Who am I? That's me, the second mate. And now I'm going to be showing you what I do. I believe this has helped. So, let's go now to the job. What do I do? That's not what I do. That's not what I do. Well, not all the time. Not all the time, you know. Well, uh, you know, the, the, the point is, we work. We do a lot of work. So as second mate on board, I do three major things. First, I'm the second watch keeping officer of the deck. So I keep a navigational watch. I keep a watch when the vessel is at anchor. And I also keep a watch during cargo operations. 
During a navigational watch, the vessel is on the voyage sailing from one position to another. For example, from Lome offshore in Togo to Wari in Nigeria. So the priority during this, during this watch is to ensure that the vessel arrives at the destination safely and in due time. To get this done, I monitor and ensure that the vessel is on the right track and in the right position. Sometimes I make necessary alterations to keep the vessel from having a collision with another vessel. Any form of cl close contact with the vessel, you know, I avoid. Um, I'm basically the master's represent representative on the bridge during a voyage. Um, so if necessary, I call him. I monitor the weather of the vicinity. For example, during rainfalls, during heavy winds, uh, during low visibility. If necessary, I have to call the captain. I also keep a security watch. Sometimes um, we have piracy within the area, so I keep a security watch so that we can take um, um, timely actions in case there is a, there are pirate attacks. Um, then also I monitor the equipments on the bridge that are necessary, that we, that we use in navigation, such as the GPS, the compass, the engines. You know, I monitor the speeds of the vessel um, and other equipment we use. So this basically is what I do during a navigational watch. During an anchor watch, the vessel is not sailing, so the vessel is fixed at a position. The anchor is in the water and holds the vessel in the position. So um, we are either waiting for instructions to sail or we're waiting for instructions for the next operation. The major job uh, during this watch is to ensure that the vessel's anchor position is fixed, that as the vessel is not dragging her anchor or um, another vessel's anchor is not dragging towards my vessel. Let me give you a picture. So this is a radar device. It gives us an aerial view of our present position, which is presently Lagos offshore. And these green patches you see all around the screen are echoes from other vessels anchored here in Lagos offshore. So I can get the range, that's the distance and the bearings from all these vessels around. With this, my job is to ensure that this vessel, my vessel doesn't move from this position and also to check to ensure that other vessels the anchor position is holding because if my vessel's anchor position doesn't hold it can drag and drift and have a collision with this vessel and also if other vessels anchor position don't hold they can drift and have a collision with my vessel secondly i'm the radio and navigation officer on board as a navigation officer i have to prepare the voyage plan the voyage plan is simply uh, a plan prepared when the vessel has to move from one position to another. I also have to ensure that all equipment and tools used for navigation are up to date, are properly functioning and are ready to use at all times, especially during navigation. Not much, right? Is it easy? Nope. Not when I have the GPS to check, the Navtex, the AIS, the Echo Sounder, the Bernoise, the Coast Recorder, telegraph recorder, the steering gear, the gyro compass, the magnetic compass, the SART, the EPUB, two egg discs, two radars, navigational lights, flags, signaling equipment, ship's horn, ship's whistle, all this lamp. I'm not done yet. I also have to ensure that all charts are up to date, all nautical publications are up to date, all IMO publications are available. Now, Just listing those things out stresses me. Okay, now as the radio officer, I have to ensure that the GMBSS on board is properly functional. The GMBSS is the Global Maritime Distress and Safety System. Now, the Global Maritime, the GMBSS is a system of communication, is a distress and alert system. It also helps with communication used by in the maritime industry, and it consists of uh, different components. Um, consists of the VHF, the MFHF, the, uh, the digital selective, selective calling, uh, the portable VHF radios, the PAB and the SART. Um, so basically what all these do, what all these does is it helps communication um, on board and it also helps if a, if a vessel is stranded or is in distress, it needs help, then you can use the system to uh, send a lot or send distress and it can get rescued or it can get help either by um, earth stations, that is land stations, or even assistance from other vessels within the nearby area. Every All the vessels and also earth stations or land stations can get the distress and respond accordingly. 
So it is my job as a second officer to ensure that this system is properly functional while on board. Let me just give you a picture of what all those are. So this is the GMDSS console. That is the MFHF. This is a VHF. This is the SAT C. That's uh, the LRIT. Sorry, this is the LRIT and that's the SAT C. Um, these are printers. So it is my job to keep all these things ready for use. Okay, let me give you a little demonstration of how the VHF works. This is my vessel and this is UML Veronica, Veronica over here and it's about 3.52 nautical miles away from me. That is about 6.5 kilometers. So let's try out the VHF and give them a call. UML Veronica, UML Veronica, matrix pipe. UML Veronica, UML Veronica, matrix pipe. Uh, you UML Veronica. UML Veronica, good afternoon. Can we go to 15? Okay, 15. UML Veronica, this is Matrix Price calling. Uh, can you read me, sir? Uh, I read you loud and clear. May I know how you call it? Uh, uh, this is Matrix Price, Matrix Price. I'm uh, just trying out uh, my VHF uh, radio telephone. Uh, just want to confirm you copy me loud and clear. Yes, yes, loud and clear, loud and clear. Alright, thank you. Uh, go back to 16 right now. Okay, And the third and last thing I do on board is I'm the medical officer on board. Yeah, in your face. That's right. I'm a certified medical doctor, y'all. I treat every goddamn person on this ship. Every bloody person. Every disease, any disease out there, bring it. I treat it. Coronavirus, I treat it. My heart not there for any to pass malaria. Yeah? In your face. You're doubting me. You're doubting me. Come here. Let's go. I'll show you my hospital. My clinic. World standard. Let's go there. Okay, so that's hospital, guys. You see there, hospital? Real hospital. First aid box, resuscitator, stretcher. I bet you don't know what resuscitator is. It's a restricted area. Only medical doctors allowed in here. And yeah, this is my, my space, my hospital. So um, you have a desk, a doctor's office. Yes, real doctor's office. You have there, there's a stretcher, if we need to rush somebody in here that's a portable bed if we need to you know um set this up somewhere else we can easily move it those are gas bottles those ones over there are portable so we can take them outside if we need to attend to somebody on site and this one is a fixed one so i can keep somebody here i can move this within this area um basically i have to connect uh a nose mask a breathing mask to any of those and you know i can work it this is a fridge because we need to keep some um drugs under uh, at really low temperatures and this is a locker for uh, storing other tools we use and we just got we stock, we stock um, new supplies for medicines um, came uh, I think recently I think it was yesterday or so so um yeah yeah <laughs> my, house, my clinic is not so small it's a big place <laughs> let me show you so yeah uh, those, that over here, that is a uh, bed, bed space in case um, someone is a sick person, a sick crew needs to take a bed rest or needs to be under watch. And while the sick crew is here, there is this device. So if the sick crew pushes it, it will give an alarm on the bridge and also in my cabin, the medical officer's cabin. Remember, I'm on watch, I'm on duty all the time. And yeah, this is a medicine locker also. Um, sorry. This is another medicine locker. Oh, it's a medicine locker, and here you have some other equipment that can be used. This is also an uh, equipment locker. So, you know what this is? You know what this is? <laughs> Let me show you. Needles. Needles. Doctor's necklace. You cannot be a doctor if you don't have this. This is real doctor starter pack. I told you guys, 
real doctor, real certified doctor. You open that bomb, let me shook it. Uh -uh. You are doubting my powers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I don't want to extend this video anymore. Um, I've come to the end of this. I don't know if you guys enjoyed this as much as I do. Um, I've shown you basically um, what I do on board as a second officer. Besides other random jobs which are not um, kind of standard, they are not fixed for every vessel. Um, so every vessel you go there, there are other extra jobs which are added. So most of them are paperwork and some other, maybe you have to assist the chief officer or master or somebody, you know, in doing some, in carrying out some kind of um, check or something. So, um, but basically this is what I do on board. This is the duty, this is the job of a second officer on board any vessel, but particularly on board my vessel as a tanker since we um, load cargo. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed shooting this video. Um, yeah, so uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please don't forget, subscribe, comment, like, please comment, ask questions, like, share. I appreciate, I really appreciate if you guys share this video, you know, download it, share it on WhatsApp, share it anywhere you like to share it. Um, thank you. All right, Bucky, come let me chuck the injection. <laughs>